All right, this is how to install an oil pressure gauge. Here's a demonstration of the gauge. This should be applicable to all M113 and 13K engines. Specifically, my car is a W211 E-Class. So the, the more detailed instructions with wiring are very specific to my car. Generally though, pretty easy. So this should take about an hour or two if you get the right parts and don't screw up something like I did. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is on the interior side, you're gonna pull out some bolts right here. They're just Torx bits, pretty easy. Just drop it down, don't touch the cables. Um, because that's going to make it take a lot longer than two hours. One to two hours. Final final guess, don't mess with this fuse box either. Just pull that out, first step. Next, wander over to the engine and use this oil pressure port right here. Some people recommend using the oil pressure port there. Uh, it's in a bad place. You're going to need a special Allen key to get it. It's going to be difficult. Uh, there's no Allen bits that fit on the end of a socket that are going to fit there. And getting a fitting there and tightening it well is going to suck. So that's why I used this port, which originally was devised, to my knowledge, by XF Motorsports, who also installed a gauge like this. So, install the gauge there, screw it in, and take this braided hose and take it all the way over here. And at this point, you can choose to install an electric gauge with the sender unit, which you just wire straight here or do a mechanical gauge, which in my opinion are more reliable. That's also the opinion of my friend who professionally restores cars. Then you're gonna take the gauge, you're gonna open the fuse box. There's some clips here. These just slide forward, there's two. It's gonna pop open. Remove the wiper blade and some other related cowling. Um, I know this is broken. It's under warranty with r Industries. Industries. Um, that's being taken care of. So remove this, put it under. There's two Torx bolts right here and here. You'll be able to lift the fuse panel up and wire this under. You're gonna just feed it straight through. If you look at it from the other side, it looks like it turns this way. It doesn't wire it straight through. There's a weird garbage bag thing that you're gonna feel. That's when you know you're in the right place. You're gonna wire that through. Once you get through the garbage bag thing, it's just gonna spit out roughly like up in here a little. You're gonna take it through here wire it to the gauge. If you desire a light, I recommend wiring it to the cigarette lighter because that's on a heavy duty head mount, 10 amp fuse, the wires are right there and they get key on power. Although that is not required. And you could wire it to the main harness. That is how I installed this. Amazon links below on the install.